What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLaunch.com and in this Lightroom edit we're going to do a kind of blown faded vintage black and white look. So uh, let's get started. We're going to be working on this image which was shot out on uh, the beach out in Laguna Beach. We sure do a lot of shoots out in Laguna Beach. But uh, that's kind of our thing, whatever, it works. All right, so what we're going to do is start with our largest adjustments first. Let's go over real quick the, the settings, actually, before I forget. I'm going to hit I to pull up my settings. This was shot, again, on a Canon 5D Mark II, uh, 1 800th of a second, F2, ISO 50. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend shooting at ISO 50 because, uh, strangely enough, it is an expanded ISO, and so you actually don't have uh, the same dynamic range as you would at, like, ISO 100. It really makes absolutely no difference between that and ISO 100. Um, so... I mean, if you can, don't shoot at ISO 50. I should have done this at ISO 100 and just bumped the shutter speed up a little more. I think it would have given me a little better dynamic range out of it. But anyway, that is just a uh, technical note on ISO 50 on the current lineup of Canon cameras. Uh, let's get to how it was shot. It was shot on a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, there's no additional light. It's a shot all natural. And so we have this nice kind of blown look, which I think looks beautiful when you go with vintage styles and stuff like that. So let's do that. I'm gonna hit I to remove my information and let's process this image. Uh, because we're gonna switch this to a black and white, I'm gonna first do that now so we can kind of make our adjustments on that black and white image. Now, the first thing I notice is that, oh, I did that by hitting V, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, the first thing I notice is that there is a crop line that I wanna fix. This, uh, this horizon line right here is a little bit crooked, so let's hit R to bring up our crop overlay, and let's just kind of straighten that out a little bit. And I don't know if I've shown you guys, I've shown you guys in previous tutorials on how to use the angle adjustment, but it's pretty cool. If you guys are having a hard time with, you know, getting a, a line like this perfectly straight, just hit your angle tool, click in one spot and drag it across and just keep it a straight line. And what it's going to do is automatically straighten out that horizon line for you or whatever that line is that you're, you're trying to straighten. So it does a really nice job of that. Okay, let's get to our adjustments. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to brighten this image up. It's way too dark right now. And then we're going to add some blacks. We need to be careful on this one not to add too much blacks because their faces are in the shadows, which means that if we add too much blacks to this, we're going to crush their faces. So let's add a little bit of recovery, just to about 30 to pull a little bit of our highlights back. I'm going to add some more brightness to it and some more contrast. The rest of what we do from here on out is going to be all in our tone curve. Now notice on this image, if I add uh, too much clarity, I get a lot of fringing. This is because they're placed over uh, a blown out highlight on the background. So what I'm going to do is actually take that the opposite direction. I don't want that fringing and I actually want that kind of soft look to the image. So we're going to take it to negative 10 on the clarity. That's great for our basic adjustments, guys. I'm talking kind of fast, aren't I? Hope you guys are keeping up. But uh, it's a video. That's the beauty of a video, guys. You guys can just rewind it and watch it again. So. Here we go. Let's get to our tone curve. We're going to switch this to linear. Once again, make sure that you guys have this button selected so we can make our own adjustments to this curve. We're going to pull up the shadows to about right there. We're going to bring down the midtone shadows a little bit. We're going to bring up the midtones and pull out the highlights a little bit. Okay, and so we start getting this nice faded blown black and white look right now. You can actually see it appearing right before your eyes as we make these awesome adjustments. I'm just kind of modifying the tone curve right now just to give me a little bit of tweaking. If we take this midpoint shadows up, you'll notice that we get more of a fade in the midtones. If we pull it down, we're basically pulling down the contrast in those midtone shadows, and it's adding a little bit of extra contrast to the image. I like it pulled down a little bit more than up. But I am going to pull up the midtone highlights a little bit, and that's great right there. So we have kind of this S curve that's ab all above our standard uh, tone curve line, and that's serving to brighten as well as increase contrast. I'm going to actually bring this up a tiny bit because I don't like that much contrast added. I, I, I want to add a little more contrast, but not from uh, killing the sh uh, details right here in the midtone shadows. So we're going to go back to our basic, and we're just going to add a little bit more contrast just from our contrast panel. And we can add a little more blacks right here if we want to. All right. That looks really cool as it is, guys. I'm going to go down, and uh, this is kind of optional. But the lens corrections, it looks fine because I don't really need to make any adjustments. The, the colors, it, it graduates um, well on the edges. And so normally I try and like make the graduation equal so that it doesn't look like it's darkening along the edges. But it's fine right here, and I think if you did a vignette, it would actually look okay too. 
So if you want to pull in a vignette on this image, that's fine. I'm going to choose to leave it brighter on the edges because I just kind of like that look on it. Um, here's another option for you guys as far as the detail goes. I'm going to zoom in. We can uh, do a little bit of sharpening here. Well, this is probably something that should be done, but uh, so it's not really an option. So let's do the sharpening. But what I'm going to talk about is doing a bit of noise reduction to soften the skin up, and then you can add grain if you want to, and that's really where the optional thing comes in. If you guys want to add the grain to make this more of a kind of vintage black and white cool, if you don't want to add the grain, you want to keep it like that kind of clean uh, black and white look from, you know, that clean digital look, that's fine too. I think the clean digital look, look works really well for this image, so we'll keep it the way it is. I think that looks great. Let's add a snapshot. We're just going to call this our faded black and white. And let's go show the before and after. So let's hit backslash to go to the before. Here's our before original image. Actually, that is not the original. Let's uh, let's do one more snapshot. I'm going to do one more. We're going to go original image. And then let's reset this. And then let's update this original image. Okay. So now if I hit snapshot, here's the before. Or sorry, here's the after. Here's the before image. So you can see we've done a really cool kind of nice faded black and white with our original raw file. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, we'll see you with the next one.